Hello everybody, welcome back to Gemma's YouTube channel. If you're new here, it's really nice for her to meet you. <laughs> Hello everyone! Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Today we are going to show you what's new in, in Ikea. In, in? In, in, in Ikea. In Ikea. I haven't been to Ikea in forever, so I'm actually really excited to see what they've got new in. And we have never been to Ikea together. So this is a whole new experience for everyone. A whole new experience for everyone. Grab your cup of teas, get your snacks, get comfy. Let's and go let's, find some homeware. I'm a little bit, I feel what? a little bit stressed out because Ikea is like stress central, isn't it? So we're doing it for you, basically. We're showing you if there's anything worth going to Ikea for. Hey, don't say we don't ever treat you, you know? We are going to go in, see you on the other side. Guess what I did today? I conveniently forgot my card, so... It's all, yes, on, it's all on Sophie today. It's all on Sophie. My excitement level is about 100 right now. I have a question. Oh, we're about the same height. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone tried the IKEA meatballs? I've never tried them. I'm about to. Are you actually going in the cafe? Oh uh, yeah, I want to try them. If you want to get about, them. Everyone said about a meatball. So Should we get them and try them first on camera, give first impressions? Yeah, why is it like, I need to know why everyone raves about. Here we are, ladies and gents. We've arrived. Pots and pans, pots and pans. Lots of pots and pans. Look at all the different coloured plates. I love these blush pink ones. Every time I come here, I always love these blush pink ones. They've also got like, I'd say that's like a really, like light grey. Oh my gosh, I love. I'm going to have to get some of these plates. How nice are these plates? I've never seen ones that are like rectangle. I'm gonna get some of those. They've got them in black. Sunday roast on here. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. Have they got pink ones? I don't think they do. <gasps> they're a must. How they're so different. Okay, so three pounds each, so it'd be like twelve pounds for four, which actually That's isn't bad. And I think you could make food look so like so the presentation nicer, would look yeah. so much nicer on there. Let's grab four of these. Oh my god, I'm really excited about my new plate. Thank you. Is it sad that I'm getting really excited about new plates? <laughs> Sophie, I'm gonna have to cook cute Sunday roast on those plates or now. For breakfast. Do you know why I like it? Because it's rectangle. It would look like really satisfying because you could like. You could look, I just like, feel like it would just. Yeah. Oh, the just, way you arrange the food will be so much yeah. more aesthetically pleasing. I like these pink bowls. How nice are the blush pink ones? I really Imagine actually love breakfast them. out there. And um. A nice oat dish. Look. I love these little yellow bowls. Look how cute they look. This is kind of like, this almost is like a picnic range. Yeah. A Greek set, like, I feel like this reminds me of like summer. My mum used to have a set of like plastic ones of these, like in a picnic set. It reminds me of that. I love like a deep bowl. Oh my gosh, I sound so <gasps> old. I, I love a deep bowl because you can get lots in it, like, especially with like a fruit salad or something. Did anyone else get fascinated by all the different types of cups in here? Like they have so many different cocktail glasses. I always love the idea of these bottles, but I remember I had like a few of these before and they literally just sit in the cupboard because they're a pain in the ass to like try and wash. There's loads of table runners in here. I never see these anywhere and they're like really affordable. Like these pink ones. They're like four pounds for all of that material. That's actually so good. I feel like you could make your um, dining table look like nice and springy with a bit of blush pink, or there's like a nice beige one here, or gray or dark gray. There's loads. They've also got lots of table mats as well. I'm actually in desperate need of some table mats, but I haven't found any that I really like yet, but they have got lots of different ones. How nice are these? It's like a pack of two, like really light pink. Sophie, imagine us drinking our Prosecco out of these. I think we look sophisticated for Me too. The only problem is I don't know if that's gonna fit in my cupboard. That's quite a tall, and my cupboards are like, got really small shelves. I really don't think that's gonna fit, but they're beautiful. I think they're six pounds for a pack of two. Cool, look at this bad boy. Imagine having a pizza on that in the middle of the table, like spinning it, pizza roulette. It's only six quid. I just like playing with it. They've got lots of trays as well. Oh, Ikea is full of mugging us off over here. Oh my God, Ikea is literally mugging us off. Just two comedians here in Ikea, you know. <gasps> oh my gosh, if you don't know, I've got an obsession with like a glass cup. I love a glass cup. I'm definitely gonna get some. Like, isn't that just the most adorable thing? Plastic, I think I like these. Oh, oh, yeah, it is plastic. I think they're nice, because they're like small, but then I like those too. 
What shall I get? What shall I get, everybody? These are one of my favourite things in the world, throws. Not like I need any more throws, because I already have so many, but look how many different ones they have. I love this black and white print. They've got loads of greys and then whites. And then my favourite section over here, which is like neutrals <laughs> and blush pink. Oh, I love that. That's so different. Stretchy. <laughs> Don't you think? How much is it? Oh, it's here. Price is here. Oh, yeah. £15. These are all so affordable as well. It's all like baby blues as well. They've basically got every colour throw you could ever imagine. Oh my god, it's a comedian over here. No, it's that there's no cushion in it and then you've got to try and match the cushion to the cushion. I know, like that that just that's just stressful. It's unneeded stress. They could just put like this. Look, they could just put the cushion in the cushion cover. Yeah, I don't get it. Out there. Yeah, IKEA. I hope just, just take notes, IKEA, right? Do you know what I'm on the hunt for today? They're, I think they're a pregnancy pillow. They're like a big triangle pillow. I'm not pregnant, by the way, everybody. But I used to always have one and they are the comfiest pillow you can ever imagine because when you lay on them you can like when you lay on your side this is going to sound really weird but you can have one part on your head and the other part between your legs does anyone else do that you know when like, you lay in bed and you like ruffle your covers up and put them in between your legs okay i'm just gonna shut up i'll show you the pillow but mark my words you need it oh my god love it oh my god look at the little i love all this blush pink i, I think i want two of those cushions um <laughs> You all right, mate? <laughs> She's comfy. I like these rugs. Or is it a throw? Is it a rug or is it a throw? Who knows? Okay, so the price of Zed rug, which is this big, is £30, which, I'm gonna be really honest, I think is a little steep. So it's quite small and you can buy these in, the one I got from Primark is pretty much exactly the same and it was a tenner. So, not today, Ikea. On the hunt for my triangle pillow. First one to find it. Um, gets to, uh, uh, I don't know. Doesn't have to pay. Doesn't have to pay. Well, you're gonna have to pay, mate, because I ain't got my card. Haha, <laughs> wanker! I found it first. She's fuming that I found it first. So it is these V-shaped pillows, and they're like this, and they are the comfiest things on planet Earth. So I'm gonna get two of these. I was gonna find you a higher quality one. Well, I'm all right with this one. That one's well squished. Oh, it's because it's in like a vacuum pack. Let's get two in a vacuum. Good idea. Are these the pillowcases for them? Yeah, we'll get two of those. <gasps> so this is what they look like out the pack. Oh my gosh, they're the comfiest things in the whole world. I'm so excited to go to bed tonight now. Sophie's like the most competitive person ever. When I was like, first one to find the pillowcases, she was pretty much like running. Yeah, but then you have to bear in mind, I am the trolley. Oh, so like that come easier, off it, advantage. come off it. I really want that ruffled throw. I really like it. I think that would look so nice on my bed. It would actually. Really too. Oh, I'm getting the ruffled throw. Sod it. YOLO. I really, really love these. I think I'm going to get two of those for the bedroom. They're so different and they look so nice. <gasps> I also love that bedside table. I also love that big vase up there. I'll wait until we get to the actual vase part to look at them all, but I definitely want something like that for the dining room table like a really big vase and then i love those banana leaves are they called banana leaves <gasps> oh my god i've wanted a plain white robe for ages i want it but it's 25 pounds and all that's going to happen is i'm going to get orange bloody makeup all over it but if you're looking for a plain white robe they have some in ikea foods and loads of different colored towels this is what i love about ikea like they've got everything in every single color i think i might get a new one of these um i used to have a gray one of these and it like doesn't go horrible like the one i've got at the moment is from matalan and every time i get out of the shower and it gets wet it goes like almost matted and these like bobbly ones they stay really nice so if i can find a white one of those i shall grab it hello me what do you need sophie just made a comment when we get our house together do you know what we need what do we need love a Jill and Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill sink. Who's the happily married couple? Hey. <laughs> but look how organised they've made this look. Oh my god, love that. Oh, that's so satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. What about the bottom one? <gasps> that's such a good idea. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? These are cool. You could actually make like your house like a spa. You could have these for guests. So like you could have a load of these and every time someone comes in you could give them a pair of these. Oh, 
There's loads of little bathroom units over here. I really like this bench. If I had a bigger bathroom, I'd love to have that. Oh, they've got loads. I do like a bathroom organizer. I like these white ones. They're actually really, really affordable as well. This bench is really cute. If that was in white and again, my bathroom was a little bit bigger, that'd be so nice to like hang towels and stuff on. I really like this little shelf unit as well to go on the wall. I think like some little like jars and stuff would look really nice on that. Look, it's a dog's bum. That is actually really cute. Isn't it? Why don't just have a What is that? Oh, the the shelves. That is Shelf. the mo yeah, look, they've put like earphones hanging off it. Just pop your things on a chair. That's the randomest thing. That is really random. I don't really know if I like it or not. I think it's just very, very random. I feel like if you had that in your house, people would come around and be like, why have you got chairs on your wall? 100%. The storage part is a little bit boring. I want to go over to like the lighting, the plants. But that being said, they have got some... <laughs> that being said, don't you think these are good though for like your wardrobe? Like these hangy things? They're really, I think they're really good because they're really affordable. They're instead of, because like I said in one of my other videos, built-in wardrobes are so expensive. And if you were to just get like a cheap wardrobe and then a few of these, I mean, they're six pounds and you could keep like folded clothes in there. I just think it's like an affordable alternative to getting built-in wardrobes because I don't know about you, but I don't want to pay thousands for a wardrobe. I also really like the idea of these, but I'm one of these people that don't, I don't really like a lot of stuff. So I feel like having that on my wall would stress me out a little bit but for like an office space like that one there for an office space i think that's actually a really really nice idea they've got so many like different things that you'd never ever think of do you know what i mean like those things on yeah, the wall like you wouldn't think you wanted but you actually do <laughs> basically the like, definition of ikea is you never knew you wanted it you didn't even know it existed but because you've seen it in ikea you need it <laughs> who else comes to ikea true. and just picks up so much random stuff. I've been really good today. I haven't been picking up random things, but I mean, we're like, we're like a quarter, we're a quarter of the way around the shop. I mean, Sophie's paying, so I should be really getting everything. <laughs> she is gonna whack me a bill though, everybody. She's not actually paying. She's not that nice to me. 10% interest for every minute. Oh. <laughs> I need a nice, <gasps> I just thought of something I really, really need, a nice floor lamp. You do. This looks like a big Christmas cracker. Should we pull it? Oh, Wonder what's in surprise. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you meant to pull it in it? Like closes and opens. That's what. <gasps> wow. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Oh my god, I love the look of those fairy lights. <gasps> How nice are those? Oh my god, they look so nice in the bedroom. I think I'm gonna have to get them. I think I've got to do it. I'm getting the fairy lights. They're only 12 pounds. Oh, Where would I put them though? That's the point. What about over the mirror? I need like a pole like that really. Don't you think? If you can buy one in like the bathroom section and we can do a bit of DIY. Come on, put a pole up. And we can, come on. <laughs> Command strips. Sophie's obsessed with command strips. I really like them though. I don't know what, what they do. Like, they look nice on this display, but I'm just thinking in the actual bedroom, where would I put them? And they can even go behind the bed because you've got your prints. Oh. Uh, they in the dressing room. Though. Put them back then. I'll show you what I mean. So on this wall, they're on that pole, but if you don't have that pole, I don't think they'd look as nice. Because they'd kind of just like, you'd need that in the house. I feel like this is potentially the most unflattering mirror I've ever seen myself in. Whew. Okay everyone, we've reached the section you've all been waiting for. The faux flowers and plants. And also, double whammy, because the candles are over there. You know this is where all my money's gonna be spent. Oh my god, look how many there are. Amazing. And look at all the big vases. <gasps> look at that blush pink vase. Oh, I'm in my element. So many different vases in here. I think this is the one I'm gonna get, because um, I think that'll look really nice, because my kitchen's cream. 
but they've got so, so many. Ooh, now to pick some flowers. I also love this one as well, but I just don't think that would go in my house, but that would look gorgeous with like some eucalyptus in or something like that. Okay, we're currently building Build-A-Bear, <laughs> building a bouquet. I think we're gonna need a lot. Okay, everyone, what's your thoughts? Like this side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. I think it looks lovely. Do you, Do you think? Yeah. Yes, no, yes, no, comment below. Do we get the flower pot? Do we? Do we? I'm thinking about getting some candlesticks also for the dining room table. I kind of just like these plain ones, you know. I don't know about you, but when I buy a Yankee candle, do you almost get a little bit scared to burn it? I get, yeah, I do. I get like anxious because I'm like, I've spent 20 quid on a candle and I don't really want to burn it. But the ones from Ikea, these ones, they're like £1.75. There's loads in there. They last ages. They smell incredible. And they're the kind of one that, you know when you just want a few candles lit, but you don't want to like burn your money? Come to Ikea. I think I'm going to get some of the ice cream ones because they smell insane i'm also going to grab some of these always get your tea lights from ikea they last ages they're not like the ones from b&m that last about two seconds this which i think would look gorgeous you could even get one of the little candlesticks and put this on top like each on each side of the bedside table like this i show you i think that would actually look so nice on a bedside table this tray is also gorgeous there's so much nice stuff in here this time. I'm so happy. This would look really nice like on a coffee table or something with a few different sized like pillar candles in. Blush pink galore. These are really, really nice. How much are these each? They are £4.50. £4.50 for three really nice blush pink candles. They look really nice in the tray <gasps> with the stones. And they smell really good as well. Oh, that looks so nice. I love these as well. These are like really nice as a gift. I think it's like a little birthday present for someone. I just think in the little jar. And also when all the wax is gone, you can use the jar for little like cotton wool pads or something like that. Oh wow, they've got reed diffusers. Since when did they do reed diffusers? Oh, you know I'm all over the reed diffusers. I really, I was just saying to Sophie, I really want some gold. I want two of these, I think. These are so nice and they're only £14 for huge lanterns. These in the range are like £40. Are they? Yeah, there's also like black and white ones over here. There's loads of different lanterns. I really want one. I want everything today, everyone. I need someone to stop me spending money, especially when I don't have a card. So I'm going to do a separate video of an Ikea haul, but I just spotted over here all of these gold, glorious things. I love gold at the minute. Oh my god, so nice. Look at these. I love this, the gold with the ivy. It just looks like, it reminds me of like a really nice like London hotel. How gorgeous these look. I'm obsessed with this gold. I think because in my house I've gone for like a gold cream champagne kind of vibe. I now have an obsession for everything gold. Down we go. Oh, I spy with my little eye. Whoa, only fell. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Morpho flowers. Oh. We have arrived in fake plant heaven. Look how amazing these bonsai trees are. I love those. These, these like little stands. And then you could have three different potted plants like on these stands. I actually really want one for the kitchen. Love that. Love a bit of eucalyptus. I hope that is eucalyptus now. That would be kind of embarrassing if not. Vintage rugs galore. Rugs galore. That grey one's nice. That is huge. That one at the back, £115, but that is a big rug. This is a £10 version of the one we saw earlier. Obviously, it's not as nice as the one we saw earlier, but if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative of a little faux fur rug, that would look really, really nice in like a dressing room or bedroom or something have entered flat pack heaven how good is this 80 pounds but think how much storage that would give you and also these lights are so nice so you buy these separate and then you just attach them to the wall and then you can like create your own hollywood mirror I've got to come down while we're waiting in the queue waiting in the queue we are currently at the end of our ikea trip so i thought i'd end the vlog here hope you enjoyed it there's so much nice stuff in here at the moment there isn't is. there? so much new stuff i could have gone absolutely mad and bought so much more stuff but i was pretty tame so i'm gonna do an ikea haul in another video 
clips that will be coming like in the next week or something. So stay tuned for that. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to know.